All right, I've made a decision. I love this Akaso 4K uh, action camera. Um, it's beautiful, it does great video, uh, but I'm just gonna have to put it aside until I start a new piece. Because I can't change the format of my instructional DVD uh, in the middle of the instructional DVD, and that's the video format. And so I'm going to stick with what I've got right now. Uh, it works just fine, and I'm not overthinking everything. And with this camera, this uh, Akaso, I, I, I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering the name of it, the Akaso, uh, I just have to, you know, it's three cameras i got to think about. And I just soon worry about one camera. And when I start my next piece, I want to be able to use one camera. And I think this might be the ability to do that. Um, but anyway, it's just uh, a decision I had to come to. And it, I've been wasting a lot of time with it uh, because I need to get to work on this. I want to get it done and start something new. It's, it's nice to be able to see on my cell phone uh, what I'm seeing through that camera. And the picture quality is just astounding but I'm gonna like I said have to put it aside I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on her today uh, I've uh, started on the fringe on her dress uh, pretty soon I'll be able to put her back on to the horse or next to the horse and then start working on him but let me get started this is Saturday afternoon and I'm not gonna be able to put much time in today because I've got other things I've got planned so I think I'm going to turn off my camera by pressing. I'm just putting a slight smile on her face. The camera angle is not the best in the world, but I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. And I've got to uh, increase the size of her nose a little bit. It's a little on the flat side. So, get my uh, ball shaped tool here. I'm wearing my magnifiers because I have to. Now these pictures, I took uh, of some Indian models on the Little Bighorn back in 2006. And uh, this is the address that I'm working off of. I'm not going to do it exactly like this, but it's something like what I'm going to do. And uh, let's see what the bottom of the dress looks like. And as you can see, the bottom of the dress has a uh, real thin line of beads and some fringe. And the line of the uh, bottom of the dress isn't perfectly straight. It's fluid. And uh, that's what I want to do is, is get, give it that uh, kind of a, a uh, nature look, natural uh, end of the front of the uh, leather. And this would be a doe skin leather, uh, leather dress. And you can see there'd be a couple of uh, rows of uh, beads with thongs on them. Not sure how detailed I'm going to get with that. And I might add details to the uh, top of the dress uh, a little different. But anyway, this is uh, this gives you an idea of what I'm thinking of doing as far as for the dress. You don't want to make it too deep or too detailed because if you do, it gets harder to cast. And anything that adds to the cost of casting is going to add to the cost of selling your product and uh, 
or your bronze and if you can't sell it because it's overpriced it's going to collect dust on your shelf. Alright, uh, I've spent the day working on the dress and uh, working on the fringe on the dress the uh, side of the dress and now I'm just doing the uh, fringe on the bottom of the dress if you uh, want to see how I do all this what I'm doing right now on the front of the dress is not what I did on the side of the dress because it took a different uh, tack on what I did but anyway just uh, finishing up this part of the dress so I can put her back onto the base with the horse and uh, I'll pick this up next week just wanted to let you know what was going on and uh, little tricks and secrets that uh, I've developed in sculpting over the years 53 years of uh, sculpting experience to this point. All right, good night everybody and uh, see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.